Alright gamers, so you know what's better than a normal, boring, non-flash modded iPod? A flash modded iPod. So yeah, flash modded iPod mini. What more do I have to say? Alright, so for this, you're obviously going to want an iPod. Some tools. Cheap tools work fine, but I have these nice iFixit tools, so I'm going to use them. Stop escaping. And you're going to need yourself an SD card. In this case, I have a micro SD card. Just pop it in there. And a CF adapter. Quick note. Use ones that look like this. Not like this. Don't ask me how I know. These don't work. Alright, to start off, I'm just going to do some basic prep work. And I'm going to put the SD card in the adapter. So I don't have to do it later. So that's in. Clicked in. Nice. And I'm going to obviously turn off the iPod. And then put her on hold and open her up. It's going to be a lot harder if it's being opened for the first time, but since I've opened this way too many times, it's quite easy, and it just pops right off. Just find a little seam, and pry up. I'd re probably recommend using like a plastic opening tool um, for this, but I'm using this because I don't care. The sidepod's dinged up anyway. Alright, so with this, what I generally do is I get the side without the ribbon cable and just pop her up. And then pop her up. And boom, there we go. Then to get ribbon out, I generally get a spudger and just wiggle the connector left and right until it pops out. Alright, so now that's loose, you can move on to the other side and unscrew the top. And there we go. Alright, so now we need to remove the main board from the case. So just do that by pushing on it. I generally just push this up, use the rear end of my jimmy and push it out. Probably shouldn't do that, but I don't care. And then the board just slides right out. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the battery. And then remove the motherboard side of the connector for the micro drive. Which then just lifts up. I'm going to remove our little rubber friend and remove the cable. Probably shouldn't do it my way, but eh, who cares. Look away if you're sensitive to rifles being attacked with metal pry tools. Alright, so now our drive's free, we can just put it off to the side, because that still works. And we're gonna line up the... So this, this should be facing upwards. You're gonna push down, um, figure out the right orientation this in so people don't get annoyed and plug her in if you can even get it in I got it in then battery is gonna go back in I'm gonna shove her in and just shove the upper back into the, into the case there's a little lip I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little lip right in front of the board. You want the board to be behind that. And just push it down. And there you go, your iPod's now flash modded. Alright, so now plug the click wheel in. Once you've connected the click wheel, and before you put the iPod back together, plug in the iPod to iTunes and restore it up oh, and it should pop up and tell you to restore it okay restore iPod store and it should restore when this screen shows up you want to unplug your USB cable from your computer and plug it into a charger Alright, so now you want to turn off the hold switch if you left it on like me. And proceed to set up the iPod. Congratulations, you have successfully flash modded your mini. Now it's time to put it back together properly. I'm going to start by turning it off again. 
putting it back on hold, starting by replacing the screws. Then I'm going to put the bottom piece back on. It should just slip, slip into a couple of little grooves. Then I can put the bottom plastic piece back on. Put the top plastic piece back on. And there we go. Done. I don't know how to end this video, so bye.